Welcome to another episode of Spiritual Superpowers. I'm Dawn, this is Karen, and we are um, filming through Zoom today. And we're going to recap on our experiences with Marilyn Penny, who does soul realignment and space clearings. And she had done both of our soul realignments, which we've recorded episodes on that. So I will include a link to those episodes if you're curious. Um, but we also had our, our properties cleared and we released an episode for Karen, which of course we'll include a link to that in the descriptions as well. And Betty's kind of sneaking in the background here and there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Betty. Join us too. Hey Betty. Hi sweetie. Oh. <laughs> There she is. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not sitting over there right now because Betty's in my spot. Yeah, let's go over now. Your episode aired recently, and in it, it was both you and Barry and Marilyn Penny talking about the properties. What what surprised you about your uh, reading? You know, first of all, there was more going on than I realized, which is interesting because I have done some psychic investigation and. So I was aware of some of the things going on, but not all of it, which kind of tells me you do, you can get used to the energy in your space. I would say since Marilyn did the clearing, um, we are noticing less electronic disturbances in our house. We're not having the lights flickering. We're not having the hair dryer going on spontaneously. So yeah, definitely some differences. You did say there were some things that she found that you weren't aware of, but there was some things that matched some of the feelings that you did have. You both picked up on a portal. Okay, so it didn't make the, the cut for the episode, but um, my husband, Barry, was, he had traveled, so he was quarantined in a spare bedroom down in the basement where he was sleeping, and it was funny because I kind of knew that's where the portal and that's where the discarnate energies tended to hang out was in this bedroom in the basement. And as we were talking about it with Marilyn, it was the first time he knew. <laughs> it just depends on how energetically sensitive you are, because I have had people say, oh yeah, I know exactly where that is. <laughs> and other well, people are like, I have funny, no funny thing is, <laughs> the bedroom in the basement we're very sleepy right now. It's one of those areas that I actually smudge quite a bit because oh I have gosh. a sense that that is one of us. Now, for I never oh, told you that very much. Uh, Karen, they, they need to realize that the reason I've been put down into the basement is I'm on a 14 day quarantine. I was, oh, yes. I was, Our viewers I, don't understand. I was traveling. So, um, anyway. <laughs> he had quite the reaction. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> A little surprised about that but anyway <laughs> we've cleared or Marilyn cleared it all out and I did work on it I tried to work on it and it did you know it would work it would clear for a while but it would always kind of go back to that feeling that there was something there and so and now I know why is because there was a portal there too so even if you're clearing what comes in it's a portal so things can come and go so uh, with that opening, yeah, that there, you're going to constantly cleanse that area. Now you won't have to because she closed it. I think about now the people that have stayed in that spare bedroom. And I... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's walking. Everyone goes and leaves with a, with a housewarming gift of an attachment yeah. from, <laughs> from your place. I remember even, you know, other people saying that they didn't sleep well down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, now, now hopefully they will. <laughs> thank you so much, Marilyn, for joining us. Well, thank you. Thank you guys for having me on. It's, it's very exciting to come back again. Yeah, so I'm hoping you'll be able to explain why the property needs to be cleared and how you do that. Absolutely. Yes. So um, I also, with Soul Realignment, I use the Akashic Records and I also use the Akashic Records to clear a property, which is very cool. I'm actually able to go into the record of the property and find out what negative energies may be swirling around in the property. And that could be from whenever anyone lived on the property. It's not necessarily from you that live 
you know, you and your family that live there now, but that property has not, is not evolved or transformed over time because properties can't. So energies get stuck there. Um, earthbound souls can get stuck on properties. As you know, you're very familiar with, with that aspect. Um, but what I do is an energetic clearing. So I don't have to be there. I do it um, through the same way I do your soul work. I do it ahead of time. I look into the records. I ask specific questions about what energies or what earthbound souls might be um, just getting stuck in your space and then once we clear those you should feel a little bit lighter in your space and you should feel um, like it's more lined up with your divine soul so that it's it's connected to you and as you grow personally and transform um, you change but the energies in your property stay the same so it's really good to up, update and clear your property and keep that space clear and clean Awesome. Well, I'm very excited because um, for our viewers, this property is in Caledon. It's a 12-acre farm. The barn is over 200 years old and the house we live in is 200 years old. So there's a lot of history here. So I'm really excited to hear. Um, okay. So first of all, um, three portal ways in your property that are open, which means that allows negative energies to come and go. It allows earth councils to come and go. So you really want those closed and protected. So it, it, it sort of keeps that stuff. And, and when I finish all of the clearing, I request the clearing. So it's done. And then when you hear about it, bring it to your conscious mind, you complete the clearing for the property. And also portal ways are, um, can be those spaces in a house that are like a dark corner or a closet you don't use or a room that you might feel a little bit uncomfortable in. Um, pets and children tend to stay away. Anybody who's energetically sensitive would would know where where a space is that feels a little bit icky that that's probably a, an open portal way so mm -hmm. you may already feel some of those places on your <laughs> in the, i've in got the, a few running through my mind right now <laughs> okay. um so there are two independent negative thought forms in the property an independent thought form is like believing in the tooth fairy in its simplest form so it's like a thought form that uh, many, many people subscribe to. So there are political thought forms, um, religious thought forms, things like that. So a negative one would be one that's, that's not good for you. So the thought form itself is not important. It's the energy that it carries. So with the two thought forms, um, we have an energy of despair and an energy of pain. When it comes to the despair, I know exactly where where that part of the property is a separate building where my office is on the upstairs. And it's, I'm not the one that lives there. So because it's not my space, I have offered to clear it because of the heaviness of despair in that space, but it's not my space at this time. So um, I gave it as an option to the, to the person living there, but they haven't taken me up on it yet. So Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly where that is. So I'm really excited. When I share this information with her, then uh, it'll be really interesting to see if it just got cleared without me having to do the work. So thank you. <laughs> oh, you can certainly share it and say, hey, this came up. And yeah, yeah that's really yeah. cool. She'll know exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> So good. Um, and the pain, it was interesting. When I was thinking of pain, I, I thought of Sully. And because it can relate to animals too and kids, and it can be a, a physical, or emotional, or a mental pain. It could be all of those things. When I think about it, I mean, I've only been living here for three months. And, you know, I started practicing again, which is great. But the I feel like I've catapulted into so much tendonitis and so much so many headaches and that type of thing uh, so quickly that I thought, well, it doesn't really match for the amount of work that I'm doing. Right. Um, it doesn't actually, to me, equal that much pain. So this might be exactly what that is. See if it is. That's amazing. Amazing. Okay. And the next thing I found um, were two independent earthbound souls. Okay. And independent ones mean they have no connection to you. They didn't transition properly mm -hmm. um, to their next experience. So they're lingering and they've got enough energy to, to have enough energy to stay earthbound. What we do in this case, obviously, is we just request that they, that they carry on. We send them with love to their next experience. There is one earthbound. I see them walking around every once in a while. I just... He just walks around. And the portals just allow the coming and going. So mm -hmm. you may not, wouldn't be around all the time. They're yeah. not dangerous in any way. It's just, I find it a little bit, a little bit sad that they haven't, they haven't transitioned properly. Yeah. So it's just yeah. lovely to find them and to send them on their way. They're actually 
you know, they don't mean to cause any, any energy or disruption to you. Mm -hmm. It's just nice to clear that, that feeling and that energy. It's right. all about the, the energies that linger when people leave because they leave and it, their energies that they've connected and embedded in that property will just stay there. Left all that energy in that property for you to enjoy. Parting <laughs> so. gift. <laughs> nice. Yeah, um, but the nice thing is that we've identified it and we've understood and brought it to our consciousness and then we just get rid of it. We just ease it up. <laughs> so, um, okay, um, and there's one anger spear, um, which means that someone at some point directed anger at the property. Right. So you want to get rid of that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have that, un you know, <laughs> unresolved anger. This land is now my home and I work here and this is all comfortable and energetically clean <laughs> i like that yeah, i can't wait to to take a feel around now <laughs> here i am in the upstairs apartment that marilyn penny cleared for me it feels lighter it feels more airy However, you know how mist kind of falls to the ground on those foggy mornings? That's kind of what it feels like in here. And it might just take a little bit more time for it to clean out. But overall, the entire space does feel a lot airier, which is really nice. And that sense of doom is certainly not here. What I'm picking up on more is just lower vibration energy. I want to perk this place up. That's what it is. So I'm going to do that so that when the young lady comes back, she will hopefully feel 110% better in her space. Maybe for our viewers, is there, like, is this something that because we're having work done, we would want to do another clearing once everything, once the house is built and we've moved in and all the extra people are gone. Is this something that we would want to revisit again? Yeah, I definitely suggest. And there, and there may not be much there at the time when you finish the building, but yeah, I think it's always a great idea to just check in for energies and, and it's a relatively short, um, you know, process to take. It's not a big lengthy thing, but you know, and it's also done remotely, which is ideal, <laughs> yeah. especially for this time of year. And, uh, and I can literally do it for anyone anywhere in the world. Right. For cool. any of our viewers who are wondering about a house clearing, like this is so much easier. And I, I really find it so fascinating. So I, I love that you do it remotely and you can tune into the Akashic Records aspect. Yeah, of it. well, it's just another, it's just another aspect. So I think they, they all go hand in hand. So it's nice to experience different types of clearings and different, like we do with our own transformations and our personal development, try lots of things, experience them. I'm just so thrilled that I've had some really good positive feedback from people that just feel better in their space they feel lighter they're sleeping better i just that i that's thanks enough for me i love that that's great okay great to see you it was really good to see you too okay. Oh I mean for me to clear i would normally have to go into those spaces but with marilyn being able to do it remotely yeah we didn't have to get all gross and dirty and also uh i'm i'm just i'm really not bothered or afraid yeah. by spirit people so one thing i have noticed is that there would be especially when i was practicing and i was more in tune with my patient there would be a gentleman walking around outside and i never bothered with him he just would wander i figured okay he's transient he doesn't bother me i mean like if you bother me <laughs> then i will gladly help you cross over <laughs> however since i've had the clearing i have not seen him once so that's really exciting definitely and i recommend having a clearing by marilyn penny especially right now in covid without like with us not being able to really go into people's places because of lockdown and you would yeah. agree right karen how much easier it is just to have someone tune in and do the work remotely and so if you are interested in a property clearing we're going to include a link to Marilyn's information below remember she does do soul realignment as well so please if you enjoyed this episode give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we hope to see you again soon thanks so uh -huh. much
Take care, everyone.